Hi everyone, I hope all of you all are doing well. Welcome to this exciting high intensity cardio session by Healthify Me. My name is Meghna and I will be your trainer to take you through this session for today. In today's video, I will be showing you eight different movements that will work your entire body. You can perform these exercises without any equipment at home. We will be performing each movement for 45 seconds. Without any delay, let's begin your workout. So before we get into the workout, please ensure that you do warm up for at least five to seven minutes. It's important that you warm up to avoid any injuries and to get your muscles ready for the workout that's about to come. So without any delay, let's get started. Our first movement for today is jump ropes. So if you have a jump rope at home, you can use it. If you do not, you can do it like me. You start by placing your arms out. Imagine as though you're holding a jump rope and hop up and down. You want to move your arms and you want to land softly on your feet without making too much noise, right? So now that you know how to do the movement, let's get started. Arms out, feet close together in three, two, one and move. Nice and soft. You don't have to jump too high. Stay easy. If you are finding it difficult to move your arms, you can just do hops. No problem. Keep going guys, we're just getting started. Nice and easy, stay tuned. Almost there. And time. Really, really good job. Catch your breath for a couple of seconds. Really good job, guys. Now we're going to go to our next movement, which is pop squats. Pop squats, you're going to start with your feet together and then jump out lightly. So jump out, try and touch the floor if you can. You don't need to. Jump back in and stand up. Out and in, right? Stay at your own pace, stay comfortable. If you cannot touch the floor, no problem, but try and do it, right? So let's go for 45 seconds now that you know what to do. In three, two, one, let's go. Down, up. Remember, keep your chest up. Don't push your hips too far back. Keep working. Don't forget to breathe. You will feel a little bit of a burn in your abs and your legs. Keep going. Land softly. I don't want any heavy lands. Keep working. Almost there. And time. Really, really good job. Take a break. All right, guys, great job. For our next movement, we're getting down onto the mat for shoulder tap and reach. So let's get down in a high plank position. From here, feet are shoulder width apart, hips nice and low. Tap your shoulder down, tap the other, up and up. So we're going to keep repeating this movement for 45 seconds. Try and keep your abs as stable as possible and try to keep your hips low. I have a problem with that too. So we'll try and work with it together. Okay, so let's get ready. 45 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. Burn. Keep your abs nice and tight. And time. Ooh, that was a good burn. 
All right, guys. For our next movement, we have jump lunges. Not everybody's favorite, not mine. It's really, really good for you. Great for your legs. So let's try and get into it. Okay. So you're gonna start standing sideways, aligned with your mat. From here, you take a big jump out. Step in together, out and in together. You can go really, really slow if you'd like, or you can pick up the pace if you are advanced. So let's get started. Forty-five seconds. In three, two, one. Let's go. Ooh, keep going. And done. Man, that was hard. That was a good burn. Good stuff. Take a break. All right, guys. After that heavy hitter, I have something way more chill for you guys. Mountain climbers. So mountain climbers, we're going to go for cross mountain climbers, targeting your obliques. So let's get down onto the mat in a high plank position. You're going to simply cross your knees, but we're going to do it with some amount of speed. If you have any back problem, just go for your regular mountain climbers, and you'll be fine. Let's get started. High plank position. Three, two, one. Let's go. Stay light on your feet. And time. Really good job, guys. Take a break for a couple of seconds. All right, guys. For our next exercise, we're really going to get your heart rate up. We're almost there. We're almost done. So let's try and go hard in the next couple of movements. For this one, star jumps. You're going to start by keeping your feet hip width apart, getting into a deep squat all the way down. Jump up, nice and lightly. If you want, you can stick with jumping jacks, but try this variation out. So let's get started. Forty-five seconds. Feet close together. In three, two, one. Let's go. Down and up. Breathe out every time you jump up. If you're finding that your knees are paining, don't worry about it. Just stick with regular star jumps. If your knees are paining, worry about it, guys. <laughs> My bad. Good. Ooh, keep going. I can really feel that burn in my thighs. I don't know about you guys. Ooh, power through. And done. Oh my god, that was a lot. Take a break, you guys. All right, guys. We're done with the heavy hitter. We're going to go for something a little less intense: inchworm to push up. Really, really targeting your upper body. Let's try and do this together. Okay, so you're going to start by standing hip width apart. You're going to push your hips back as much as you can. Slowly walking out into a high plank or push up position. Go all the way down, chest to floor. Push yourself up, walk back in, touch, and stand up. If you want to just stick to the push-ups, you can. But try this variation out. Let's do this together. Forty-five seconds. In three, two, one. Let's go. Try 
Try and keep your abs nice and tight. I know it might be a little difficult now, but we're in this together. Keep breathing. Keep going, work through that sweat. your time. Good stuff guys. Alright guys, we're finally almost done with our high intensity session. We're going to finish off with some abs. So come on, let's finish off strong together. You're going to get down onto the mat for this movement. It's a combination between a sit up and a hip thrust. So your feet are slightly farther away from you. You can place your arms up or across your chest. From here, you're doing a full sit up, go back down, push your hips up into a glute bridge or a hip thrust, come back down. So this combination, we're going to keep trying and doing for 45 seconds. If you're finding it difficult to do the hip thrust, just stick to sit up, no problem. Let's get ready in three, two, one, and go. Up and back. You can also adjust your feet to come closer or farther away, however you feel most comfortable. When you're nearly done guys, keep it going. Last one guys, almost there. Cardio session done. Can rest after this, hydrate, but keep pushing through the end. And time. That was a really, really good one, guys. I hope your abs are on fire just like mine are. Well, guys, we've finally reached the end of our high intensity cardio session. If you're as out of breath as I am, you know you worked today. So I'm really, really happy that you decided to try the session out. I hope you had a great time. Don't forget to cool down, guys. It's very, very important to get your nervous system back in order again. Again, to avoid injuries and to continue on and focus on recovery. If you did enjoy this workout, add it to your personal playlist and come back to do this workout three or four times a month. You can supplement this workout with a protein-rich diet, drink a good amount of water, and don't forget to give sufficient rest and recovery for your body. Let us know in the comments below how you found today's workout. Stay tuned to Healthify Me YouTube channel for more content like this. If you did enjoy this video, like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.